Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to see you here. So I'm painting Captain Marvel from Marvel United and she is primed with Crystal Blue. Now I guess I didn't learn my mistake from last time, but Crystal Blue is hard to paint over. And I will learn that very soon, including Corpse Pale, which took me about two or three layers of it to be able to get it to the color I wanted. The next color, however, is going to, or not the next one, but the one after this one's gonna be the worst one. Anyways, thanks for joining again. I hope you you like the videos. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. All right, moving on to some arid earth, and this is for her hair. Now she has like a golden color hair, so later on when I put the wash in, it gives it exactly the effect that I wanted. All right, moving on to Dragon Red from the Army Painter. And this is gonna cover up a lot of the blue armor because she's got a lot of red and blue on her. And this is where the red was not working at all for me. I shook it up, I thought it was just the way it was in the bottle. I added a mixing ball and everything, but no, it just was very uh, light to go on. Like it wasn't the right kind of red to go over this blue, so it turned out purple. It took me three layers, and I do that off camera so you guys don't see me repainting the same areas over and over again. So if you do use Dragon Red, be prepared, especially if you use this Crystal Blue. If you used White on the other hand, it would go on beautifully. Well, I finally picked up a new gold color. This is Greedy Gold from the Army Painters Metallics range. And this is going to be for a lot of the trims and some other parts of this miniature. Uh, she's got a lot of little gold trims around her armor and uh, all sorts of places. So this is perfect for this. It's not too bright. And even with the wash, it doesn't dull down.
Our first wash is going to be light tone and this is just on the hair and on the face. Our next quick shade wash is blue tone and this is going to be everywhere that has blue armor. I didn't want to use black or dark tone or anything like that or a brown color because I really wanted to keep the blue uh, popping. So this just gets in the recesses and makes that blue look even nicer. And of course since we have red on here we're going to use some red tone. Now the red tone is actually kind of dark, it's kind of weird, but it still gives it a nice finished look on the red armor parts of this miniature. Now we're going to use some matte white for her eyes and her teeth. Now we're going to complete the base with some uniform gray. And there's a lot of little nooks and crannies, so make sure you get in there because otherwise you're going to have a base that shows through the base color that you put on the primer. Uh, with the blue, it's a little bit tougher, uh, but it looks good in the end. All right, so I finish off the base with some dark tone. I also go off camera and do the uh, bottom base with a black color, uh, just to separate the base and the actual base of the miniature. So Captain Marvel is all painted and ready to fight the villains in Simon Games Marvel United. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.